Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go over the DISM command. Uh, what this command does is it will go online, or it will scan your machine and check for any corruptions with your system files, and then go online and download and repair any broken or corrupted files that you may have. And there's three parts to it. You can do a check health, scan health, and restore health. Uh, typically, I would just I jump to the restore health rather than going through the other steps. Uh, it does take a bit longer, but it uh, pretty much does the same thing. Rather than having to scan it, find the problem, and then run the fix, it just run and scan, fix all the same. And to do that, we need to open up the command line. So CMD, uh, you have your command prompt here. Make sure you run it elevated. So run as administrator, right click on it. And then here we have our terminal. So just type in D I S M space backslash online space cleanup dash image space backslash restore health. And that's what you need to run right there. And so we hit enter. It's going to pop up saying deploying this. And here's our image version. Now, this will not work, I believe, on Windows 7 machines. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember, I did this before on a 7 machine, and the restore health didn't work. You can still do the, uh, the scan in the um, check health command. So instead of restore health, you just do scan and check health. And that will basically do the same uh, thing here on 7 machines. But um, Windows 10, it's pretty quick. Usually they say it takes about 20 minutes, but I mean, if you're running a, an SSD, it's not too big. And, and you can see it's only not even been a minute, and we're a fifth of the way done here. So, uh, we'll just pause it real quick and wait till we're done here. So, interesting thing, um, it's been stuck here at 84.4% for about a minute or two now, so I'm wondering if it may have caught something on my uh, machine. I have recently upgraded it. Um, I moved everything over to an AMD build, and I just moved the hard drive over to do anything special to it. So I wonder if anything's been corrupted. Um, so yeah, we'll find out here. Uh, I'll pause it, and then once we get closer to 100, we'll restart the video. Oh, there we go. Alright, so, 100. Um, was completely successful, the operation. Okay, yeah, so if there was any corruption, it's fixed it. It's uh, checked the image. Um, to an online image and restore any parts that were failing. So it's a really quick, easy command. You can just run it, you don't have to babysit it. It goes and does what it needs to. And again, those other ones you can run are, uh, instead of the restore health, you can do scan, scan health, and you can also do check health. Um, other than that, it's pretty much all the same. And remember, if you're always, um, you know, don't know what the command exactly does, what you need more information on it. Just look at the help information here. It tells you pretty much everything you need to do. Um, so yeah, that's really about it. It's a really good tool. It's helped me out a lot, out a lot with uh, some broken machines, having to do, uh, run this rather than re-image the whole machine. So, hope that helps. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Links to any tools can be found down below. Please leave a comment if these steps did or did not help you, or if you'd like to see a video on another topic. Thank you for watching.